three, two, one. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, hey. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. This is, this is me trying to be blue ice neighbor up there waving at me. Yo, guys. Um, yeah. This is really going on my channel, but he brought the beer. Um, I don't trust him. Uh, because of that, whatever it is, that Marlou, Marlou, Marlou. Yeah, this, 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 uh, this thing. Yeah, you guys are all assholes. <laughs> okay, so, um, you're, you're pouring. Okay. You're doing everything. You're talking about it. I'm just, I'm just getting the rewards for it. And you're going to give me one minute. I got to go grab this thing. Okay. So while I'm standing here, uh, I'm going to do this by myself. So, uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. I'll add that in at the All end. Right, okay. We'll sort of start again. Here we go. No, do that. Do it. You danced. Okay, you danced. I can do that. We're I can do that. that. I, can, okay. I, can still, I can still edit that in. All right, so anyways, um, talk about, because you know what? You're just giving me a video. I'm giving you a video. You're giving me a video. This I brought, I brought this specifically for A, because I loved this beer. And B, I wanted to make sure you had, yet, uh, you know, a good I quality. I don't trust them. He doesn't, we're, we're going to drink it out of the and, same ground. Uh, it's not like the Malort. And I can't believe he's being this nice to me after I've been uh, so hard on him over a hard pour. I've been drilling hard pour crap out, haven't I? And you guys wonder why I give him a hard time. That's right. I, all the time. Big anyway, so today from one of the greatest breweries in Chicago that we went to, Hot Butcher for the World. Um, unfortunately, they didn't put, uh, they don't sell this in cans, so I had to get a growler, and that's why I had to run down here to Brantford and get this drank up before it goes oh, back. this guy. That's oh, right. did you know Chicago has like 60 craft brews? I believe it. What the hell? I believe it. Great place for beer. Excellent breweries down there. Like, uh, they, they say it's a city of craft. It is. There's a lot of good places to or go down pizza, there. Or pizza, or sausages. Damn it. I know, you missed it. Anyway, so we have the old school Hawaiian Vibes. This is a 4.5% fruited milkshake pale ale. I don't believe you. I tried this in Chicago. I it was absolutely... I don't believe you. De I know you don't. I wouldn't trust me after I, that. I, I don't uh, believe you. Now, I did have this in the crew. Look at this. You see how I'm pouring this on your channel because it's your channel? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, that's how things should be poured, though. Even if we, it isn't... Do we, do we have to do a... Uh, do we have to do a uh, Brawl in Brantford part two? Oh boy, is that what we need to do? Do I smell a bunch of pineapple in there? Oh, dude. What is going on here? You're going to love this. Okay. Now, I understand Drew doesn't trust me very much because of the Malort fiasco, and rightfully so. Well, I do now after... Uh, after you smell it, yeah. And then the weird bubbles on top, like... And you got it, did, it did get a little bit frozen in my cooler on the way here, so hopefully what? that doesn't affect the taste very much. That smells... Okay, I'm putting it... Hold on. Yeah, put that down. That's, I, I want to chug this out. I, I got to chug it out. Chug it out. Because you know why? I'm getting rid of that. You're still trying to get rid of that malort taste out of your mouth? Yeah, it took me literally all... And everybody else. Everybody not else bad. had a hard time not getting around. for mackerel. All right. All right, so you can smell the pineapple. It's, oh very, God, it's very pineapple, pineapple heavy. All right, we're going to cheers. Do you want me to drink it first, or do you trust me on this I, I one? I trust you. Okay. I trust you on this. Give and it a try, if I do die, well, then you, you guys... It's on it. film. And uh, you, Mike, I know you have a bad knee. You make sure you get to his phone before he does. Okay, <laughs> all right. Give it a try. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. I love this beer. Wow. Can you not savor it? I got more. Oh, oh my God, that's so good. This, so this comes from Chicago, eh? Yep. I'll put you for the world. Fantastic brewery. And oh, I didn't tell you. I'll, I'll talk about that off camera because it doesn't need to be on camera because I think there's a video coming out soon. We'll talk off camera about Hot Butcher. So what do you think of that? Um, there's no mango. No. Now, uh, this is uh, pretty much, I want to say about 93% pineapple juice. Yes. It's very, very um, pineapple forward. Very pineapple heavy. And for being a pineapple lover, I'm in love. It's great. That's why I, that's the, why I brought it back. The only problem with this is, now, if you don't like pineapple, this is not for you. No, no, if you don't like pineapple, yeah. So this, that's clear. all I'm going to yep. say, because you're going to like a 7% because it's, you don't get pineapple. Like it's, this is unbelievable. Like if I said, you like pineapple. And it's a great summer beer, 4.5% alcohol. Jesus. It's, it's a, refreshing. It's, it's great every time. Yeah. But I mean, especially in the summer, it's hot, it's light. 
but it doesn't it doesn't taste thin because it is a milkshake pale ale, a fruited milkshake pale ale. Sorry, my apologies. And that's why I said I, I had it in Chicago and I'm like I gotta get this. I just and they don't want to put this in cans. They eh? don't have it in cans right now. I'm sure it's coming soon. Well, and that, it should be. It should be for sure. It is. To be fan, honest, it should be nice to go into your fridge and not open up a growler because you gotta drink the whole thing. Oh, we're gonna. I'm gonna have another big glass of that because mine's empty. No, he's not. He has more. He said. I got yeah. I, I meant more that's in the growler. No, he said he has more at home. No, I meant I had more in the growler. Is what I meant. I, I said I had more. Oh, I, I don't yeah. think I said. You know what? Let's play back that clip right now. Can you not savor it? I got more. I got more. Do, 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 do. What did it say? See, I was right. No, I was right. I'm just saying I'm right. We, neither one of us have seen the, I was the totally clip. Right. We'll go back and we'll see who was right. <laughs> and I'll put a little scoreboard over here. Be zero, zero. No, this is... Who is right? Ready? This is fantastic. Ding. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there it is, no, right no. there. Oh, did I put it on your side? Sorry, ding. Ding. Does this guy win? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, to be honest, this is, uh, okay, so, it's a thing. this is a point one out of ten. If, you guys if that. Dicks. If that. It's point zero Actually, zero this one. this one had apple juice, so this was good. Well, mine was good. I don't know what yours has been. This actually is a eight, nine. It's good. It is a damn, like this damn is, mighty this finder. Is, uh, actually, tell you the truth, I give life in the clouds 9.125. This is a 9.2. There you go. This is this is this is. Uh, I can't get this all the time. If you can't I get it Chicago, at all. I could get it all the time. Um, that's why Life in the Clouds is my sure. favorite all-time beer. But that makes sense. Nine point two. That that is that is better. It's delicious. You, you can drink this on now. Four point five percent. I get it. Man, this would be tasty at six and a half, seven percent too. And we it saw on, on top that it was uh, seven point five. There was one. Yes. So, but. You can't go wrong with this. And um, I'm going to save a little bit because I know Ron and Mike want to try this. Oh, yeah. We'll let them try it because oh, yeah. it is, it is, it's try. lovely. They it have to try lovely. Chicago beer. And this one's lovely. This is this is more lovely. Uh, do you like pineapple on pizza? Yes, of course. Who doesn't like pineapple on yeah. pizza? Yeah, well, you have to say it now. Yeah, you have to, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even if they hate it. Yeah, yeah. It's a Canadian thing. It is It's, a it's Hawaiian pizza, but it was invented in Canada. No, it was invented in Chatham. That's what I'm saying. It's, Chatham, it's Canadian invention. Chatham, Ontario. That's where Drew's from. No. Kitchener. Close enough. Cambridge, Kitchener. Chatham. Chatham. They're all close. About an hour away. Where, all right. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, even though this is his video, but on my channel, subscribe to this guy. Subscribe to me. Uh, subscribe to Beer for Breakfast, so Facts for Snacks. Uh, click on this. It will head you right to his channel. Thank you. What? I don't even know if I know how to do it. I'll figure it out. This. There, hold on, one more. Pause. This. Click on this. Click on this. Click on this. <laughs> There's going to be like 50 people sitting there tapping <laughs> on the screen and it's not going to work. <laughs> or just, uh, you know, the whatever. Just click the... this. Click on the link somewhere. Yeah. Right there. Right there. Okay. See you later. I'm out. Cheers, guys. That's really good. You want to try this?